Now, in this part of the question, we've already got f of x equals the natural log of x plus 2 minus x plus 1. And the root of this equation we've got to show is 2.505 to three decimal places. So how are we going to do this? Well, the method we use is basically to think of the graph, okay, I don't know what the graph really looks like, y equals f of x, but what I'm going to do is look to see if there's been a change of sign between the minimum and maximum values that this root x is. So the minimum value of x to three decimal places would be 2045 so if I was to put that on number line here or on this x-axis we would have 2.5045 and if I look at the maximum value of x that would in reality be 2.50549 recurring but for the purposes of work like this we just call it 2.5055 so I'll mark that in as 2.5055. This is not drawn to scale, okay? I know that. It's just drawn so that you can get an idea of what is happening. Now, what I'm going to look for is a change in sign when I put these values in to f of x. And if I get a change in sign, that's going to tell me that the graph has crossed the x-axis between this value and this value. And that will tell me that the root would be 2.505 to three decimal places because I've taken the minimum value and the maximum value that this could be. Alright, so let's get started. That's the idea. So all I need to do now is just work out what f of this minimum value would be. f of 2.5045 and if I put that into the equation, you're going to have the natural log of x plus 2. So if we add 2 to that, you're going to get 4.5045. And then if I do minus that value plus 1, you've got minus 1.5045. Work that out on a calculator. And what you find is you've got 0.000. .000 five seven six eight and so on this is a positive value virtually zero so it's above the x-axis I'll put it up here though even though it's very close to the x-axis next we need to do f of this value here so we'll do f of two point five zero oh, five five and again, put it into the equation, so we'd have the natural log of the x value add 2, so that is 4.5055. And then we have minus x plus 1. If you put, work that out, you get minus 1.5055. Work this out on a calculator. What you have is minus 0. 0.0021 and so on. So we have a negative value, very close to zero in fact. So that's going to be down here, say. So the graph would have changed sign going from positive to negative. So there's a root between this value and this value. So if that's the root, it must have been 2.505 to three decimal places. So just to summarize then, we can just say that therefore, since there is a change in sign, let's put that in, since there is a change in sign, all right, then we would have therefore x equals 2.505 to three decimal places. All right. And that brings us now to the end of this question.